Hi, Paul Livingston here. Welcome to my second ever video on how to use Photoshop to uh, do stuff. Uh, first, I want to thank all my loyal subscriber. Thank you, Goat Headed Boy. Now, this video should go a lot smoother than the last one because my lovely wife has agreed to set everything up for me. It's all ready to go, files are ready to go, the fonts are ready, everything's ready. I really appreciate her doing that because, um, frankly, she doesn't like me much. Okay, you're going to want to watch this video through to the end because at the end, I have a free gift just for you for watching this. The, the, don't, don't look at that, kids. That's, that's not the right one. That's not the right one. Uh, I have a free gift for you just for watching this. Martha, damn it! Okay, at the end of this damn video, I, 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 I got a free download for you. Okay. What we're going to talk about today is making an e-cover in Photoshop without a uh, action script. It's pretty easy to do. Need two files here. We got a blank um, uh, uh, canvas over here. You can design your e-cover over here. And over here we have your uh, template for you to put it on top of. I'll show you what, that, what I mean in a second. Okay, so we're going to design a real quick and dirty and probably ugly um, uh, uh, thing, cover. I'm, gonna, I'm just throwing a gradient in here because I couldn't get the layer styles to work with Camtasia running. Uh, and, um, all right, we're going to make this about uh, babies because everybody loves babies. I'm going to drag this baby over here. Hey, I made a pun. Uh, okay. Control T to bring up the uh, transform handles. Hold down Shift to maintain aspect ratio, size it a little bit, move it over, and there you go, hit enter, and there, you got your baby there. Um, okay, now we're going to throw in the title. Uh, what are we going to call it? I don't know. We'll call it... Uh, just write something up. Ah, shoot. Make it a little bigger. Oop, too big. Alright, okay, so that, that'll, that'll do for that, you know. Hey, what do you want for nothing, you know? All right. Um, yeah, there's a little space here. We'll uh, we'll fill that in with uh, maybe a subtitle. Uh, smaller text. Uh, doesn't have italics. Oh, well. Uh, I see. So we're, let's turn it to a more uh, pleasing color, get some, uh, where the hell is white, there's white, alright, deselect, that should be italics, but I don't have time to mess with it, okay, now the baby, we gotta get rid of this black box around the baby, so we're gonna apply a layer mask, we, Shit. Excuse me. 
layer mask. Oh, I gotta be. You gotta be on the baby layer. Okay. Um, layer, layer mask. Reveal all. Now we're gonna paint on it with a black brush. A bigger black brush to get rid of the. that white around them. Now you may be asking yourself, but Paul, why not just use the eraser tool? Well, uh, I don't know. Well, they're, they're, I could tell you, but it'd take too damn long. Um, the eraser tool is okay if you never make a mistake. Yeah, but I tend to make quite a few of them, like these, like what I'm doing now. Yes. All right, all right, all right. Shrink the brush a little bit to get into this little corner here. Okay. Now we'll move them over a little bit more, and there we have uh, our cover design. That really isn't that good, but hold on a minute. Okay. Now that you got your uh, design designed. You're going to want to flatten everything. You don't have to, but I, that's how I do it. And then you want to drag it over to your uh, 3D template. Line it up. And there you go. Of course, that doesn't look really 3D, so what we'll do is we'll change the opacity of this new layer why you ask well so you could see see behind there you could now see the outline of the ebook template so again control T to bring up the um, uh, whatever they are called I forget now you hold down control this time for the perspective and you line up the, uh, your design with the outline of the template like that or something like that yeah like that okay you got it you hit enter right now, <clears throat> excuse me now you uh, put the opacity back up to 100% and there you have your uh, e-cover uh, hold on a minute okay I told you that I was going to give you a freebie, and here's the URL to grab it. This is a direct download link. It's http colon forward slash forward slash plivingston.com forward slash downloads forward slash yt freebie. Uh, hold, hold on a minute. Okay, forward slash ytfreebie.zip. And don't forget to capitalize the Y and the T because anything after dot com capitalized uh, letters count. So there you have it. There's the free download. Now, you may have noticed um, that this cover really blows. That's because while I do know Photoshop like the back of my hand, I have no talent. So, if you are like me and have Photoshop but no talent, um, check out my pal and all-around good guy, Raymond Jameson um, of Black Hat Graphics. He has Photoshop and talent, and he designs all kinds of good stuff, you know, ebook covers and websites and all that crap, you know. He's real good at that, and he's cheap too. I mean, he's reasonable. You know, I'm not supposed to say cheap, but he's reasonable. Okay, there you have it. Hey, thanks for stopping. See you next time.